All right, you guys, today we're going to be talking about frequency tables and histograms. Your essential question for this set of notes are what are the different data distributions and how do I use them to represent data? So our first thing we're going to be talking about is frequency tables. So this is used to show how many of each number are in a data set. Our example we're going to be using is 1, 1, 1, 1. There's four ones, 1, 2, and two threes. So on this left side of our data over here, our data points, that is the number of the numbers in the actual data set, and we're not going to repeat those values. So I have one, two, and three. Those are the only numbers that are in my data. And now we're just going to see how often they actually occur, um, so how many there are of each of them. So I know that there are one, two, three, four ones, so I put a four right there. There's two, or sorry, one, two, and then two threes. Alrighty. Um, so the other thing I want to talk to you guys was about our bar graphs here. So um, if we have, sorry, we're actually talking about histograms, but I did say a bar graph with numbers and shows frequency. However, you need to make the spaces equally um, spaced, and they will be actually touching um, each other. So a bar graph, they'd actually have space between them. So that's the difference between a bar graph. So we're going to go ahead and use this example where we have 2, 2, 2, 3, 5, 8, 8, 16, and 20. And then we are going to go ahead and create our histogram. So the biggest thing you want to do is make sure you are labeling. So on the left side, this will be our frequency. And we're just going to number those because we don't have a number that's occurring more than three times. So we're just going to say 1, 2, 3, four, and five, and then um, I'm going to go ahead and label this one our actual data. This is where we will be coming up with intervals. So if I do an interval, let's say um, we're going to do from zero to five, then we're going to go from six, so zero, one, two, three, four, five is actually six numbers, so six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then we have 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. We don't have any numbers higher than 23. So now I'm going to count all the values from 0 to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I'm going to go up to 5 and make sure that I have a histogram um, that are doing a bar like that. And a histogram means that we're going to actually have them touch the values. I only have two values from 6 to 8, and then I have one value from my 17, or sorry, 12 to 17, and then my 8, hopefully your guys' um, bar graphs are coming out a little bit better, like the same um, spacing, and then 18 to 23, I just have one value again. So again, I should have my bars all kind of similar to that. All right, you guys, that is it for our set of notes today. I'll see you in class.